Ninjas, Kevin David with That Lifestyle Ninja, and today we're going to walk through exactly how one of my students made $25,000 profit affiliate marketing my course. We're going to talk about what affiliate marketing is, we're going to talk about special secret ways to market affiliate products on social media such as Facebook, YouTube, and how to make a ton of money doing it. So make sure you stay to the end, we're going to reveal one special secret that my top affiliate marketer used to make $25,000 in just one week and that's profit guys not revenue so if you enjoy any of my videos definitely make sure that you are clicking the subscribe button and definitely make sure that you check the notification bell so you can always be up to date on when I release a brand new video so let's kick it off what is up ninjas alright so we're gonna talk about everything affiliate marketing and we're gonna talk specifically about how one of my students made nearly twenty seven thousand dollars profit affiliate marketing the Amazon FBA ninja course so we're gonna use my courses as uh, an example but you know there's a ton of other things out there that you could affiliate affiliate market for but it's important to understand the basics so basically what an affiliate marketing relationship is is between three parties right there's the person who creates something so let's use me for example I have the Amazon FBA course right there's somebody out there who wants to sell it for me and then there's a third party buyer right so when somebody buys my course through someone's affiliate link that means that that person gets 25% of the total sale 50% of the total sale, whatever the case may be, right? And so if I sell a course for $1,000 and I offer a 50% commission, it means that every time somebody uses their specific affiliate link, which we'll talk about in a second, how to generate your unique link, which is how they track affiliate commissions, if someone sells my course through their specific affiliate link, they get credit for that sale and they get 50% of the price or they immediately get $500 commission. So. Affiliate marketing is a really interesting way to make money because you don't really require any upfront capital because you're not selling your own products, you're selling someone else's. And when you sell a digital product, especially one that you don't have to create yourself, you're basically, you know, earning money for something you don't have to spend time creating and don't have to invest at all up front for. So let's look at a couple examples. Um, for those of you who don't know anything about affiliate marketing, ClickBank is definitely the biggest resource out there um, as far as affiliate marketing. Um, I normally look at uh, you know, best sellers on ClickBank and there's a couple websites. I like to just use uh, CB Snooper, so ClickBank Snooper. It tells you what the top uh, affiliate marketing products are and what their you know earn percentage is normally the top products have the most gravity on clickbank which is more or less a ranking algorithm that shows you know the number of people out there who are selling that specific course and the number of people who are then buying it so let's take a look at a couple examples just so we understand you know the type of landing page that people are purchasing and the type of product that people are successfully selling through uh, affiliate marketing so this is the current number one um, hidden survival muscle.com so and you can tell that this is their affiliate link also which is funny because um, you can normally tell that it's an affiliate link if it has like equals and then it has like an ID number right because that associates with a specific person who is creating a website creating a Facebook ad creating a YouTube video to market that and then whenever anybody purchases through their specific link identified by their unique identifier they get credit for it so the hidden survival muscle in your body missed by modern physicians that keeps millions of men and women defeated by pain right so it's just a huge long sales funnel you know trying to sell I would assume some type of, uh, some type of, yeah, like fitness workout stuff. Unlock your hip flexors. The key to strength and vitality. Regular price fifty, right, forty dollars off, and they give it to you for you know only ten dollars. What a great deal! So that is the example of the top, the current top position on ClickBank, which means that they're generating an unbelievable amount of revenue. Um, and so let's take a look at one more really quickly. So this is the numerologist.com, numbers, patterns, and purpose. Ooh, tap into the 4,000-year-old science of numerological analysis. So, you know, it's another thing. It's very unique, over 550,000 abundant thinkers, abundant thinkers, right? And so, you know, it's just people buy into this stuff, right? They did a great job with testimonials. The landing page looks awesome, right? They have animated text and... Um, Again, so it's the second best on ClickBank. So now that we kind of understand, you know, how affiliate marketing works, 
uh, what some examples are. The biggest affiliate marketplace out there is definitely ClickBank. It's interesting to see you know, who the best sellers on ClickBank are. I use CB Snooper to tell that. It shows you the hot list peaking. It shows you the top products by day. And you can take a look at kind of what is selling there. And not only do you do this if you're an affiliate marketer, but this is also a really good way to you know, see what's working as far as from a landing page perspective, uh, you know, how people are organizing testimonials, how they're organizing, you know, for this price, $100, but if you buy it today, 50, but we're offering a one-time special if you buy it in the next hour for 20, right? Just, just psychological aspects to make people more likely to purchase a product. So it's a really good way to, you know, go into kind of the buyer psychology, look how they're organizing sales funnels, and then model your own funnels, whether it's for pro physical product sales or digital product sales. So now that we've talked about that, let's take a quick look at um, one of my students' actual uh, affiliate marketing dashboards and you don't have to be a student of the Amazon FBA course to be an affiliate but I definitely do highly recommend it uh, one thing about affiliate marketing is if you don't truly believe in what you're affiliate marketing you're just not going to be successful you have to believe in you know the power of the product itself to you know really be able to sell it in a very genuine and authentic way which people have a really good sense of right so the lifetime earnings here is $27,404.15 and that is 100% profit. So he has generated um, over over $27,000 only from selling my course, right? So he didn't have to create any of his own products. He had no upfront uh, capital investment. He needed no overhead of any kind. And he did, you know, $27,404 just by selling my course. And I think, you know, I like to think that a lot of that was because of the quality of the course. But, you know, there are a lot of good ways to market. And we're going to go over some of those in a second. But first, we're going to talk about how to actually sign up for the affiliate program. Um, you know, whether it's mine, whether it's someone else's, they normally have an affiliate uh, a place to uh, create your affiliate account, right? To register yourself in the system. I use ClickFunnels, a uh, backpack uh, affiliate program, but you know, there's a ton of other different programs out there. So, you know, it's pretty simple. Just enter your email address, um, zip code, uh, social security number, and don't worry, guys, that's a fake one. Um, and basically just create your account and then once you have your account created you'll see kind of your dashboard here and so I want to go over quickly you know how to actually create um, these funnel links and I will be including uh, the link to create your affiliate account uh, in the description below I'm also going to be including um, an affiliate link for ClickFunnels which is an absolutely amazing way to actually uh, advertise you know digital whether it's digital products whether it's physical products I use it in my Amazon businesses I use it in all of my digital businesses I will uh, link below a uh, link to sign up for ClickFunnels itself I'll put a link below to sign up as an affiliate for my specific course and we're gonna go over really quickly how to generate your links and we're gonna do it in the um, context of my specific program but you know most affiliate programs are the same so this will apply uh, to all pretty much all other affiliate programs so you usually go get my links and so once you press get my links you kinda of come into the ninja affiliate area right and so from here I just made like a quick infographic to make sure that people, you know, we're doing it right here because uh, it has a it has a generic link that I can actually remove from ClickFunnels uh, since I wanted to have specific affiliate links for my specific di different products because I sell by module and because I do have um, some affiliate links to like my webinar landing pages and my video series landing pages which do convert very well. So we had to adjust it a little bit, um, but I want to show you guys kind of how to do it. So we're gonna do the Ninja webinar and I will also include the ninja webinar link the webinar has been converting absolutely incredibly I will show you guys a uh, test campaign that I actually set up just today uh, to show you guys kind of how uh, it works to market things with an affiliate uh, aspect on Facebook and so we choose ninja webinar right if we wanted to do just the complete FBA ninja course we would choose that and then we get a different affiliate ID here. And the reason that we're changing these guys is because it actually changes the URL. So it, this will bring them to the webinar landing page, but it'll still have your affiliate ID. This will bring them to the complete FBA course, right? If you have a if you have a warm lead and you think that you know they're they're close to purchasing, you can just send them to this link here. Um, and you can name it Facebook, right? So if you have a social media on Facebook that you're advertising it to, like if you have a following there and you're saying, hey, check out this great course on Facebook. If you have a following on YouTube, you could put YouTube in the affiliate sub ID here, just so you can kind of track, um, you know, where your specific sale, affiliate sales are coming from. It's more of an advanced tactic for people with multiple followings on different social media. So for our example, we're gonna use the Ninja webinar, right? So we just copy and paste this link 
And then I like to use what's called uh, the Google uh, URL shortener. So you can just Google search Google URL shortener. There's also alternatives like Bitly. I just prefer Google. So you copy and paste that link into here because it's kind of an ugly link. I just want to show you guys. Like it's huge. You don't want to send somebody this huge ugly link. Um, and then you know some people are strange about uh, affiliate marketing too. And so I like to use um, URL redirects, right? So if you use a mask like this and you create a short URL, that link that we just had before is now this shortened Google link. And so we can copy and paste this link into a web bar or you know in a Facebook message or wherever, and it'll bring you automatically to the webinar page. Um, it will redirect automatically. So let's quickly talk now about how to actually market this stuff, right? Because once you know how to create your affiliate links, kind of how affiliate link uh, marketing works, the most important part is how to actually get this out there, right? Market it to the right people. We're gonna talk about how to target people who might be interested in this type of course, right? We're gonna talk about how to set up a YouTube video, which some of my students have had the most success with, right? Making a review of the course, whether you're uh, advertising on Facebook. There's a ton of different ways, right? Google advertising. We're gonna focus on the big two, which is Facebook advertising and making videos on YouTube. All right, so first let's take a look at the um, ad campaign that I set up kind of just to demonstrate um, how you know affiliate marketing works and how you want to go about starting your Facebook ad campaign. So uh, let's take a look at this first one. Um, I split test into a few different countries um, and then within the countries I split test again. Um, I'll go over uh, in a few minutes how I come across or how I you know decide on which countries to focus on and then you know the cities within those countries. But let's focus on this one in the United States because as you can see uh, it's spent you know 150 times more than the other uh, countries. So let's look at the one that actually has some conversions. So there's two different ads that have conversions it looks like. So it, it looks like it's took us sixty dollars and thirty two cents to sell four courses and um, you know at nine ninety seven to twelve hundred and fifty dollars per course you know spending sixty dollars to get you know forty five hundred dollars back is obviously a very good deal um, and so let's take a look at the actual ad itself so this one is the whiteboard anima uh, animation excuse me ad that we did so I'm just going to show you you know exactly what I did for it just so you guys can see um, so it's a video ad, obviously, right? Use of emojis. Um, I have the ad copy that I use here, right? For the actual headline, it's a bit long, but you know, it obviously is working because it was fifteen dollars a conversion, and at a thousand dollars plus for you know the overall purchase price, that's obviously uh, an incredible conversion rate. So let's talk about. Um, you know how we actually go about setting this up. So for those of you who aren't particularly familiar with uh, Facebook advertising, a really good way to come up with you know highly targeted audiences is using audience insights. So for those of you who um, are familiar with Facebook advertising, right? You go to All Tools, Audience Insights, and what Audience Insights is is it shows you the age and gender and demographics and page likes um, associated with a set of uh, target market correct so what we mean by that is if we're trying to find out what total percentage of Facebook is you know interested in a specific topic all we have to do is enter it here so what we're looking at right now is no filters so this is basically all of Facebook all of Facebook is 54 percent women 46 percent men right the lion's share of people in the 25 to 34 year old range for both uh, genders and so if we are trying to sell a course on how to be financially free right how to quit your job how to leave the nine to five life behind which is you know the purpose of the Amazon FBA course is to teach people how to replace you know that cubicle slavery income with a sustainable um, source of income from anywhere in the world you know traveling the world with your laptop and so one of the things that I like to do with audience insights is look at other people who kind of have that same mentality so Gary Vaynerchuk is one that resonates with me and I'm sure with a lot of people um, and so again it updates the uh, demographics here 70 percent men are interested in Gary Vaynerchuk right uh, lifestyle career building getting established these are the uh, 
US demographic and interest data based on purchase behavior, brand affinity, and other activities. So Facebook has troves and troves of data about basically everyone and basically everything. Um, the most important part about audience insights is this tab here. It is the page likes. And so what? why it's important, we will talk about when we actually go to set up an ad itself, but page likes is incredibly important. These are the different interest that you can narrow markets down with, right? So when we're creating a Facebook ad, it asks for narrowers. It says, where do you want to make this ad, right? So we make it in the United States and then we narrow it further by saying, you know, only men, you know, and then we narrow it further by saying, and only men who are aged 25 to 34, right? And then we narrow it even further by then narrowing that population of men who are 25 to 34 living in the USA, right? Um, we narrow that even further by only targeting people who have liked certain Facebook pages. So you can make the assumption that somebody who goes, you know, goes throughout their day, their busy day to actually go find Gary Vaynerchuk and like his page is, you know, most likely interested in building a career, you know, for themselves and not working for the man. Right, so the assumption there is that when you narrow your audience based on interest, and that interest coincides with what you're trying to sell, right? You're you're matching up an interested buyer with a product that could be potentially interesting to them, and then when they buy it, you get your affiliate commission, and you know all is well. So, uh, what we like to do here is we like to do combinations, right? So we're not only going to choose the interest Gary Vaynerchuk. We're going to try. You know, Gary Vaynerchuk, all and for men who are 25 through 34 who live in Los Angeles. And then we're going to try, you know, who like Gar both Gary Vaynerchuk and Tim Ferriss, right? And we're going to try in New York only for, you know, 18 through 34 year olds. So there's basically infinite number of combinations that you can actually, you know, use permutations of these different interests to create unique audiences. And then you can split test them by location age and things like that until you have proven winners, right? And that's not even to mention uh, testing your different ad copy, right? Your different headlines and all of the different beautiful things that go into marketing. Um, and so one of the things that I also wanted to share with you guys because you're watching, so this isn't public data, uh, but I wanted to share it with you guys. So I created a custom audience. And for those of you who don't know, a custom audience is basically you input a set of data into Facebook, like uh, emails, uh, first and last name, address, and then Facebook has so much data that they take that input that you give them all this information about people and you can create what's called a look-alike audience. And when you create a look-alike audience, it's ba it's basically Facebook with all of their data and incredibly uh, complicated algorithms. It's taking that input data and it's spitting out a what's called a look-alike audience, which is according to all of those data input in inputs, it finds other people out there who are very similar to the input you give them. So if I have, you know, 1,500 people who've purchased my course, right? I have their email, I have their names and things like that. I can input that into, as a custom audience and I can you know, create a lookalike audience that is very, all the people in the lookalike audience are very similar to the people who've purchased my course, right? They've proven they're interested and then Facebook with an incredibly accurate and super targeted algorithm creates a lookalike audience that's very similar to that custom audience. And so I'm gonna share with you guys um, the custom audience that I used, right, to get five different uh, conversions at $15 each, right, for a $1,000 plus product. And so these are the top likes for other pages out there. Um, related to my purchasers. So as you can see here, people are, okay, so we made a good guess. People are interested in Gary Vaynerchuk, who buy my course. People are interested in Neil Patel, Russell Brunson, Jungle Scout, right? That obviously makes sense. Shopify. And so you can play around. You can say, you know, only people living in Chicago who are aged 34 to 55 who have also liked Jungle Scout and Shopify and have, you know, or Shopify or, and like Russell Brunson, and, and also like Gary Vaynerchuk or uh, Russell Brunson, right? So you can do either or, you can do exclusions. It's, it's basically <laughs> endless permutations. But I think you guys are starting to get, right, the power of this when you can actually see what people who've actually, real people out there who've purchased the course, you can see what they like um, out what they like pay, uh, Facebook page wise you can see the locations they're in right so this is all none of this is public data um, but I'm showing it to you guys because I want you guys to be able to be successful and you know make a bunch of money affiliate marketing 
Um, and so San Diego is uh, a big audience for us, right? Top language is obviously English, but don't get overwhelmed with audience insights. Page likes is the most important. So let's do something that I like to do also before I start creating my ads. So we're going to create an ad. We're going to do it live just to show you guys kind of um, how to do it. It's just easier to see it kind of in real life. Um, so we're going to create, oops, it looks like I already have one up. So we're going to create one from scratch. Um, we're gonna, just going to hop into one of these campaigns, create an advert. Right, and so we're going to call this one YouTube Live. So we're optimizing for purchases. Um, purchases, basically you put um, a custom event code on the thank you page of you know your website. So when somebody out there lands on your thank you page, it basically tells Facebook that they purchased, right? If they only got to your order page, but they didn't get to your purchase page, then you can retarget them. But you know, that's, a, that's an advanced topic that we'll save for another time. Um, and so custom audiences, right? We're gonna create one from scratch. So we're not gonna use any custom audiences. We're not gonna use you know, any people who like my page. We're not gonna use any email addresses that, that I've you know, collected. We're gonna do this as if you know, we're just affiliate marketing. So how do we choose where to do um, our location? So there's a cool little trick that I like to use and it's called Google Trends. So Google Trends is a really cool tool for those of you who don't know that kind of shows how often people are searching certain phrases and where they're searching it from. So we're going to put in Amazon FBA here um, and we can see worldwide, you know, there's been a ton of interest, obviously, because people are making, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars selling on Amazon FBA. Um, and we can see here, um, which is a cool little ninja trick, that the most popular searches for Amazon FBA occur in five places. United States, Germany, Canada, United Kingdom, and Japan. So that's why I, you, if you saw before and you were paying attention, those were the five countries that I was split testing my specific ads for. And so we can go even one step further and put this as cities. So now we can see that Los Angeles, New York, Berlin, London, and Chicago are the most you know, densely populated interest for Amazon FBA. So we're gonna set up our ad, we're gonna be clever here, and we're gonna we're gonna focus on the United States. So we're gonna put Los Angeles, we're gonna put New York, and we're gonna put Chicago. So those are the three uh, biggest ones in the USA. Um, we could tell from our audience insights that you know, 69% men, 38% of which are 25 to 34. So we're going to focus on 25 to 34. 25 to 34. And we're going to choose men for now. And we're going to split test this. We'll do women as well, right? I actually looked and four out of my five purchases today were, were from women. So, you know, you can't always trust the data, but that's why you have to test everything always, right? So that went from, you know, a bunch of millions of people all the way down to 33.9 million. Um, and so this is where the magic happens, detailed targeting, right? So we can see from our audience insights, the actual pages that people like, right? So Jungle Scout is incredibly, incredibly, uh, targeted when it comes to people selling on Amazon FBA. If you go out of your way to like the Jungle Scout page on Facebook, you best believe that you know something about Amazon FBA. So we're gonna do uh, Jungle Scout here. Well, let's start with Gary. So Gary Vaynerchuk, right? So I think, I think Gary Vaynerchuk is incredibly uh, specific. So we're gonna narrow. This, this means, so, include people who match at least one of the following and must also match at least one of the following. So if I put it, if I put Tim Ferriss here, that means that the person could either like Gary or Tim Ferriss. But if I put Tim Ferriss here, that means that they, they have to like both Tim Ferriss and Gary Vaynerchuk, both of them, right? And be careful because this is an interest, right? This is an algorithmic based interest. You can tell it's 13,180 people right and then if you look here 1.9 million so this is obviously the correct one right and so now we're seeing daily results down to 920 to 4400 right it's more defined now so let's add a few more quantifiers amazing.com right russell brunson is a great one russell brunson um, facebook business grant cardone let's try grant cardone or russell brunson or neil patel so let's narrow further. Let's go Russell. Russell Brunson is a great one. 
All right, let's go a little bit further. Let's see if we can get Grant card down. All right, so if somebody out there has liked Gary Vaynerchuk, Tim Ferriss, Russell Brunson, Grant Cardone, also matches, you know, our 25 to 34-year-old range, who is also a man, right, which we can tell from our demographics and audience insights, um, is our biggest uh, market segment, then we all of a sudden have a very defined group of people who are only living in the Chicago, Los Angeles, and New York area, which we proved here uh, in Google Trends was the highest density of Google searches. So we're going to run this ad, right? Or let's let's save this audience first. We're gonna call this YouTube Live Affiliate One. So we're gonna save this audience, um, and we're gonna continue. All right, now for the fun part. Um, when we get here, we give our advert a name: Amazon FBA Video Number One. Um, you can connect your Facebook page. Uh, we're gonna do a single video. Um, and so some of the videos that I actually do share with um, the top affiliates, we're going to preview really quick. Um, they haven't been released to anyone yet. Um, you know, I, I am planning on sh sharing them with all of the affiliates who've made, you know, between ten and $30,000 profit from the affiliate uh, marketing. Um, so we're going to preview. This is the one we're going to choose. So what if instead of paying for products on Amazon, Amazon paid you? A little corny music. Now, does that sound too good to be true? I might have thought so also, but it happened to me. Now, if you're like me, you're probably wondering, who is this Sales guy? Screenshots. Why should I listen to what he's saying? Great question. Right, and then the one that we use today. Want to quit your job and travel the world while still earning a six-figure income? I'm Kevin David, and I did just that. You may have heard about me and how I went from zero dollars to... Um, and this was the one we used today, the whiteboard ad, right? We spent about $60 on ad spend and generated over uh, $5,000 profit, which is, you know, pretty good uh, as far as, you know, a profit margin um, goes. So we are going to use um, the, oh, we can actually use one just from the library. We're going to use the uh, Lamborghini video. Um, we can generate a custom thumbnail from the video itself, some goofy faces like that, or we could use the sales screenshot. You know, we could split test this, um, right? And so then our destination URL. So we can we can do a couple of things here. We can go into our affiliate uh, dashboard and we can do a link directly to the full course sales page, right? If you sell somebody super hard, you know, they're feeling the video, they, you know, have been looking for some opportunity like this and everything lines up perfectly and they go straight to the sales landing page and they just purchase the course and you earn your affiliate commission. Uh, but what I've found through my personal experience marketing um, these types of things is that it's actually better to send, you know, these warm and sometimes cool or even cold leads to a webinar to kind of give them a little bit more information. Normally, if people watch, you know, most of, if not all of a webinar, then they are are seriously interested in what the webinar speaker has to say and so what we do is head into our affiliate area choose the ninja webinar link right so our custom link here um, that is the website URL that we are going to uh, be sending people to um, and then you know you can just put whatever you want into the headline uh, why is everyone talking about why is everyone talking about FBA and how is a ninja freeing hundreds of people from corporate slavery? Uh, the headline is Ninja Webinar. We can change this to something better, right? Free today only. Uh, join the webinar. Everyone is talking about and travel the world earning six figures. Right, something like that, and we can always split test this. What I mean by this, guys, is there's infinite variability to this. You can literally, you know, do anything as far as these go. Um, you can change your call of action to learn more, sign up now. Right, little small changes. You can always test your headlines. You know, put some emojis in the headlines, put some emojis in the text. Um, you know, change the thumbnail of the video. All different types of things. Um, when you're split testing with demographics and gender and location and different interests, like Gary Vaynerchuk, Tim Ferriss, right? There's a ton of different variability for uh, you know these permutations to set up and see what's working and then kind of scale the ads that are working and pause the ones that are not so we are going to confirm this um, it's gonna take a few seconds and then magically it will be hopefully approved by Facebook
And you know, there's a lot of cool ways. We go deeper into actual Facebook marketing. This is just kind of some basic stuff in the actual course itself. It's module seven, everything on Facebook advertising. Um, so if you want to duplicate this and change just one thing, right? Instead of maybe targeting Tim Ferriss, maybe we're looking at you know um, page owners because usually people who own pages are entrepreneurs. Um, you know, like the Kevin David page or other pages out there, um, it, which is a good targeter for people who want to be self-employed. You know, there's a ton of different options we can choose. We can choose education. We can choose you know, uh, you know, uh, affluency, how much money people have, things like that. So we can duplicate that exact ad uh, and then we can just change one small thing. Maybe we could change the copy. Maybe we could change the thumbnail and just kind of see what works get a bunch of ads going. Some are going to work really well. Some of them aren't going to work at all. We pause the ones that are working bad and we scale the ones that are working good. So if you guys do want access to these videos, unfortunately right now they are, um, private. I haven't shared them with anyone yet. But you know, if you're super serious about the course, if you are a member of the course and you believe in it, you understand how it's actually helping people and changing people's lives, reach out to me. I am I am willing to share it with you know some people who are very persistent and obviously my top affiliates who have made you know above the twenty thousand dollar profit mark. So we are going to move on now and talk about YouTube. All right, so let's talk about YouTube. So YouTube is a questions search engine, right? So when people are looking on YouTube, they're looking for the answer to a question generally. So when they're coming onto YouTube, you know, how do I make money? What is Amazon FBA? How to sell on FBA? What is the best FBA course, right? And so how, how YouTube works is based on a variety of factors like engagement, likes, comments, um, you know, number of users, and most importantly, uh, watch time retention, uh, you're your videos start to rank for keywords that Google's algorithm deems relevant to your listing based on people's searches and their in, you know, ensuing watch percentage and interaction with that video. So as you can see, for one of my sample videos, um, we're ranked you know, first for Amazon FBA product research, first for product research for Amazon, first for film it by Amazon, right? Uh, first for lifestyle ninja, FBA product research, you know, a number of different keywords that are very important for um, you know, Amazon FBA. So people deemed this video very relevant for those, those search terms. And so that's why the video is ranking. So why are we talking about this when we're talking about affiliate marketing? Um, the answer is some of the most successful affiliate marketers in for my course, right? The 20,000, the $25,000 people, uh, even the, you know, close to $30,000 profit. Um, the reason that they were so successful is because, you know, they had a following of people. Uh, they had a following on Facebook. They had a following a list of emails of people that they trusted, right? They had a YouTube uh, subscriber following. Um, affiliate marketing is very important, uh, right? And like I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, only marketing things that you truly believe in the value of um, will get you far, right? Just marketing anything, people kind of just start to not trust you. They just, they know you just want to make money. And so, you know, the people who were marketing my course and were members of my course and had gone through it and had seen how impactful the course itself was on their Amazon FBA businesses, you know, they jumped full in. And the, you know, a, a very good way to affiliate market specific courses is to show the inside of these courses, right? Not give away any secrets or anything like that, but just show the general outline, you know, talk about some of the higher level things that you found useful, right? Go through all of the different modules, right? Module one, part one, part two, all of these different things, right? For finding home run products, you know, a ton of different videos. And a lot of them are, you know, pretty long and we can talk about, yeah, one of the cool things that I learned was, you know, how to use Amazon FBA's product profitability experts against them, right? Most people don't even know that Amazon has these profitability experts and how to actually utilize, you know, their product choices against them is actually a really good strategy for, um, you know, starting to find products that are being very successful. Um, how one simple trick, right? You can talk about all these different things about how it helped me and, you know, talking about how to find the best suppliers and manufacturers and creating listing optimization and, you know, talking about how all of the different, uh, all of the different courses have resources, right? And, you know, you can just highlight basically all of the different cool things that you like about the course, how it helped you, you know, give your honest opinion about it. And, you know, if you're very genuine and you're providing value, then people get interested in what you're talking about. And, you know, most importantly, you can just add your affiliate link um, into your YouTube description very easily. Um, you can even say, you know, it is, a, an, it is an affiliate link. Some people like, you know, being, being truly uh, transparent. So let's try Amazon FBA Ninja course. So I actually don't know who is going to be ranked first for this. 
Okay, so my so my videos are ranked first for it. Um, so this guy is the first one that's not me. So it says do not buy. Um, do not buy right, guys, just if you're yet. Watching this video, then you've probably so he's using some of my marketing materials, right? And I share this with you guys in the affiliate. Uh, dashboard. There's a link to download things. Um, I don't share everything publicly, right? I want to incentivize people to work hard and you know be my top affiliates, and that's why I'm giving them the best HD videos that are converting you know sixty dollars of ad spend into five thousand plus dollars of profit. Um, so you know this guy is trying to make it. You know he, he's basically clickbaiting. He's saying do not buy, and then just yet. I've I've seen this video before. In the end, he does suggest buying the course. He said it's one of the best out there. But, you know, he's being clever and saying, do not buy in all capitals. So this guy is doing it uh, cleverly. You know, he has the full course. And as you can see here uh, in the uh, bottom is his affiliate ID down there, right? So he has not only the full course itself, but he also is providing the affiliate link for each of the individual modules, which is, again, very intelligent. Um, this guy is obviously, this guy or girl is, you know, has done affiliate marketing before and he's doing a great job. So one of the things that I wanted to chat on uh, finally, right, so let's just summarize YouTube really quick. We create a YouTube video related to the course or whatever the digital product is in affiliate marketing. I'm just using my specific course as an example, but I'm trying to teach you how to, you know, do affiliate marketing in a successful way. One of the cool things um, that you can do with YouTube is uh, you can actually view page source and you can see which tags this person is using to boost their, uh, you know, to boost their overall video to the top. So we view page source just anywhere on his video, uh, his video landing page, and we can see that his, uh, that his keywords are right here. Amazon FBA Ninja Course, Kevin David, That Lifestyle Ninja, right, FBA Ninja Course Review, you know, all very uh, logical and, you know, intelligent different keywords, Kevin David Review, That Lifestyle Ninja Review, e-commerce course, e-commerce re review, right, and you can do this with any video, so this is a clever little trick that I like to use, you know, for YouTube, uh, and we'll have a more specific uh, training on, you know, how to create a YouTube following and how to do so in, you know, a very quick and uh, efficient way, so that that is the way that I like to use YouTube, um, kind of a course review, show some of the highlights, talk about how it, you know, impacted your specific life, make it personal, and then, you know, just include your affiliate link, and as you gain organic traction, if you make a high quality video, right, you're going to get those affiliate sales. So YouTube and Facebook is what I like to focus on. Um, you know, there's so many different, there's so many different options out there. Don't let yourself get overwhelmed with Google and Pinterest and Instagram and all the different stuff, right? Stick to the mobile and the desktop main feed for uh, Facebook. I showed you how to use uh, audience insights to see, you know, what people are liking related to certain topics, right? Gary Vaynerchuk, you know, I showed you my own custom audience. If you guys didn't understand how important that was now, those are real purchasers of the course, what they are actually liking on average on Facebook, the pages, right? And then we can target those specific pages. We can create audiences that are very targeted, similar to those people who actually purchased, right? And then I showed you how to use YouTube to create course reviews, right? How to, how to populate tags, right? If you, you know, if you want to, learn more about um, how to actually create your title and description in YouTube. There's lots of great resources out there. Maybe if you guys request it, you know, I can make a video on that as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, this was kind of a long one, but I, I really do believe in the power of affiliate marketing if you believe in the course material itself. And so, you know, for all my super <laughs> persistent hustlers out there, um, even if you're not a top affiliate and you really feel like you deserve, you know, the, the secret um, high definition ads, um, you know, leave a comment below. Feel free to shoot, uh, shoot me a, a message. Make sure that you guys like it and comment below. I love hearing from all of you and I promise I'll respond to all of them. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for the next video or what I could potentially add as far as affiliate marketing. Um, and so I hope you guys enjoy that. If you did, please let me know in a comment and we will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. If it was helpful to you, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget the notification bells so you stay up to date on all the best advanced strategies and topics on Amazon FBA and all other ways to make money online. We'll see you guys next time.